And Snage was a Kokidosa already. Shape's not important. Shape's not important. Shape's not important. So, here, already in. Shape, totally, posture, totally irrelevant. In. Cool. Not long it was. data point that you saw is, and I'll demonstrate it, we'll just go for a while, okay? I'm doing the same thing. This one. You're like, well, his grip, his grip's getting me. What grip? Did some of you see the yielding? Do you see? And then I'm seeing this. Do you see that? You're like in this position a lot. Okay, but this one's not that weak, get out of the way, yielding. Right? It's again, I don't pull on his skin suit. That's what I call it. You like pull his his skin, eventually it pulls the shoulder, eventually it pulls the, the center. That's not it, okay? So in the same thing where I'm in his center now, when a hand moves this way, you guys are taking it off. In that same center, and that same center is in that movement. It's not, sometimes you're like, on, and then you feel, holy cow, I feel like I'm doing muscle tension, and then you go off. No, if, you, if you're gonna reverse it, it's this same relationship that's moving this way, same relationship, it's now moving this way.
what I would say is do the opposite of what you want to do. So you want to, he's pushing, you want to yield, and then when you throw, you want to shut. Okay? What I would say is he's pushing, relax, relax. Well, I know it's crazy, but just relax, okay? If you need to, do a yin yield as opposed to this retreating yield, okay? So don't take it off. Instead, come around slightly. Around slightly. Meaning here's his power vector, come around slightly. Don't make it big, just around slightly. And as you feel his pressure and you feel your mind want to flex, don't flex. Release more and more and keep going around more and more. So we're gonna use a little mixture of internal, external. So here, oh, uh, uh. I'll go around slightly. Keep going around. And as you keep going around, keep releasing tension. Keep releasing tension. Everywhere you feel the ten everywhere you feel the tension, release and go around. Tension, I'll release and go around. Okay. Now so pay attention. You can do that in very odd ways. As you learn, okay, I kind of see what's happening. Then you don't need any of it. You don't need any of it. And so to risk it. Risk it. What are you risking? Oh, he's got me. Okay. Let him get you then. Go. Told to release. Okay. Um, and you're like, what the hell does that mean? What does it really mean? Okay. Because you, we go like this, he pushes, and we go, release, as I said, release. Okay, but it didn't look like that when he released, okay? First fucking thing, all language is poetic. If you, if you sit here and you go, uh, you know, the, uh, the fifth fascia of the elementals, hey, fuck off, it is entirely poetic. Language does not, language points to it as much as it points away from it, okay? So when you have somebody that is saying release, you cannot make the mistake of just go, what does release mean to me? You have to treat it like a scholar would that's studying another culture you have to hang out, you gotta learn the language, you gotta figure out the context, and you have to do as much, probably more work figuring out what it's not than what it is. Do you get that? Okay, so we already know it's not that. So you guys, that's off the table, okay? It's like you're, 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 you're trying to learn Japanese and you see two little animals and somebody goes, Inu. And, but one was a dog and one was a cat, and you thought it was cat, and they go, next time you see a cat, and you go, Inu, and people go, what? And then you need to go, okay, Inu does not mean cat. It was the dog. Do you get it? You can't keep going to the next cat and going, Inu? Inu? No, no. No cats are dogs, okay? So no, no, ugh. none of that is what 
I mean by release, okay? If it was, I wouldn't be mentioning the kind of emotional, psychological, dichotomous functioning of my mind. You see that? If it was all purely physiological, okay? So same thing as he's, as he's pushing, this is scary to us, you see? And that is one reason, tying it to the first question, is we're doing it like this. We're out here like this, you see? Or one arm starts to dominate and the other one is just in a state of flexion. Like, why is my arm here? Just relax your arm, you see? So, if you look at it that way, the only constant is not whether my arms go in or out. The constant, the only one between everything is my mind. How do I spiritually experience him? That is the only constant. So when we talk about release, however you're understanding it, you have to understand that that is probably what is most important, how you are psychologically experiencing it, okay? So if you take that understanding and you're trying to do this next thing, he's pushing on me, on all that pushing on me, instead of going he's pushing on me, you want to say my mind is making him push on me. My mind is making, there's a, there's a old Zen story where they were asked who, who was going to be the next abbot. And the master said, uh, is, the, is, the, is the wind moving the flag? Or is the flag moving the wind? And the various disciples are going, oh, the wind's moving the flag, and the flag's moving the wind. Right, and then one dude goes, my mind is moving the flag, okay? It's very similar here. My mind is making him push on me. There's nothing true about it in terms of he is all objectively pushing on me. So that's why what I try to do here is give you a little poison, take some push off. You see? But you see what he's doing. Oh! He takes some push off and then he's pushing on me again. So keep taking the push off. Don't go here now. Keep going around him. And what we're trying to do is, I, I did have my mind, he was pushing on me, I took some push off, but now you smell weakness and your pushing mind comes back and you push on him. Instead, treat it as a releasing drill. A releasing of what drill? A, a releasing of the desire to push him, okay? So he's pushing me, I'll take some energy off, do you see? Oh crap, keep going around him, keep going around him, not, not here, not up his arm. Can you? Yes, yes you can. I'll keep going around. And as I feel the urge to push, I keep releasing my mind. Just keep releasing my mind. Hold on, I'm not throwing. That's a throw. Okay. He 
Here's the bite, release the bite. Observe how relaxed my hands are. He's, he's pushing. He is pushing. Watch the, watch the bottom hand. It's just hanging. It too is not going. Mm. It's doing the same circle. You guys say he's got, he's get. Why is he getting physically tired? Why? Because he's pushing the whole, he's doing bench press the whole freaking time. Okay. So. That's about as good as we can get. At a certain point, you have to accept the first principle. The mind is moving the flag. Okay? And then the second thing you have to do is you have to go, it's kind of like the matrix. I'm going to change my mind. Okay? Try it again. Okay, so you're trying to do all that, and conceptually, structurally, that's kind of what's happening. Uh, but there's also the quality of what's happening, okay? You cannot confuse uh, that there is not a quality to your skill, whether it is the skill of awakening or the skill of kokyudosa, okay? There is a quality to it. Uh, it is a perishable skill, okay? So, uh... There's a couple of things you can notice here, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, we'll, and we'll have you be Naga on and Andrew you be okay. We're back to laying on here. Okay, switch roles. Okay. Uh, we'll get Andrew out. And so you had one, one ability in the last Uke. Uh, and it presented opportunity, okay? But if the uke has the skill we're looking for, where as she, if she touches, you're already in her body. Well, the same thing's going to be here. So, this is the marker you want to notice. The more connected I am with my center, for the person who's not, they will never, it'll fail every single time, okay? But for the person who is connected with their center on a nage who is connected on their center, it actually takes less, less movement. Okay? It takes less movement. Right? So he's going to really project me. And that's his effort every time. Can you see? Less movement every time. Do it every time. get a bigger reaction because of what he's doing, okay? 
Um, now, this again, there's another marker. So, let's say, not as much center connection. It's not that, it's not, it's not bad, okay? It, it's just not at that other level, okay? So, as she goes to touch, there's always a little lag in her center as she disengages it upon contact. Just a little, a little lag, do you see that? Okay, now, I can use that to keep developing myself, but if I am trying to throw you and you're trying to not get killed, I will always come out of your grip. Do you understand that? So I, I, she's gonna push, and you see, I have to pull the strike as I'm going. Do you get it? Do you understand? You look confused. You get it. Okay, so I'll, I'll slow down what I'm talking about. So uh, as as she pulls herself out of the technique, she opens that yin space that was making her not projectable, opens her up to the same center that projected someone oh, and just knocks the F out of you. Do you understand? And then you don't get, you only get one rep as you get. Okay, do you, do you get it? So, I, will, I can never hit him in the face because his center will always be projected out. So last, last time I did small movements in his projection. You see, he's trying to project me. And I did small movements to his projection. But if I do big movements, I still, I will never get near his face. You see that? I try to hit his face, and I can't hit his face, but it launches his body. You see that? So, this is what I'm talking about. We, or, or we you cannot make it a kind of conceptual drill like we've been doing. You see, you'll practice release, Okay, it's still a martial art. And his ability, as my ability as Uke, uh, to displace him is what makes me projectable. It's also what keeps him able to go full speed and never punch me in the face. Do you get it? In this case, that would be the target. But standing, it would be the groin, or it would be the knee, or it would be something else, okay? So, I feel you're moving more in the right direction if as Uke, you make yourself more projectable, then you let your fear get you and you try to take the energy out. You're only milking the drill that took strikes out, okay? Try it again.